but you got to be ready for that. But it's not just... Bad intent and that left head kick coming around the side. Well, and you heard Joe Murphy say to Lauren, oh, oh she hit her right hand there. Oh. Kick, Murphy on the ropes. That's that oh, oh, right right left hand. hand. Could be the beginning of the end yeah. here. The check right hook got her. Eventually he got her, Paul. I think the champ's got to just get some separation yeah. here. The check right hook got her, man. I think. Shevchenko should try to switch to mount and really start hammering down with these shots. Now she's starting to really let these elbows go. You see the face of yeah, Murphy. She, not does happy. Murphy. she does not like the Oh, big elbows. That'll do it. And still the undisputed best in the world. Get her another ruby for the belt. That's a hard left hand there by. There's a oh. see that check, that check That's right. That's a hook beautiful ball. check right I mean, there. She saw. just really steps out of range and sits on that right hand. Luke Rocco used to throw a really good check right hook yes, from the southpaw position. Yep. Look. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh, oh, she gets a win in her debut. What a fantastic performance by the Frenchman Manon the Beast Fioho. Got the takedown when she needed. Let's see here. Oh, right upside. Changes it up. Comes with the roundhouse. And look, she mixes the uppercuts. Her boxing also looking fantastic. And the aggression, like you talked about, John, she's very aggressive yep. on the feet. She doesn't just sit back and wait like a traditional martial artist sometimes. She's very forward, pressuring her opponents, mixing in her takedowns. I think she needs to go back to her pressure, her forward pace. Right, look at her. The wrestling is not working. She's dominating her there. She has to change it up. She's got to mix it up. Oh, look at this. Crucifix. This is terrible. And now she'll just start to batter her way, slowly. Just dropping punches. Priscilla Casueta can relate to this treatment in John, Valentina's flyweight debut. John, I was grabbing my paper to try to find her name. But yeah. I mean, this is exactly what happened to Priscilla. And Valentina oh. is going to beat her up. Yeah, it looks like she opened her up with one of those elbows. Big damage. Stop it, could come here. Closely. As it should be. That's it. And still, the UFC flyweight wow. champion. Is there anyone wow. who has anything for her 125? What a dominant performance. A little bit of a pedestrian pace here, early round three. Hey! Nice uppercut from Lauren Murphy. Murphy's been looking for that uppercut this entire fight. And she threw it in the beginning, and she keeps sticking with it. And she read that Burrell was going to dip her head, and that's something she's been seeing. And that was a very nice week. Now she's got Burrell on the run. Nice knee. She's a change. She's Murphy. That is it. Lucky. This is a beautiful job. Murphy was looking for at the very beginning of the fight. She lands it here on the entrance of the left hand. Excuse me, right hand to Barella. She eats the uppercut on the way in. And then we see Murphy just go after it. She stuffs the double leg and throws the knee on the break on the way up. Boom, right on the chin, puts Barella to the mat. Right here, on the click. Boom, break the posture, throw the knee. That's tie pads all day long for eight weeks. Finish with the elbows. Right. And we got to think she had seven fights as a bantamweight as well. Yeah, and she was picking fighters up and slamming them in that way. <laughs> yeah, when she did that, I, I was like, there's no way she's going to find success that light. But she won the championship. You know, so Jessica Andrade is a fantastic fighter. And right now, she's been able to implement her game plan very effectively against Caitlin Chukagi. Oh, something's happening. Oh, 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 yeah, she's attacking the body. She's down. Oh, and that is it. Wow. Flyweight wow. debut. And George gets another stoppage. Here's the replay we're going to see. We see a, a short. Sh oh, he's a oh, hook a to the shot. body. Oh, look at that. And you know what that feels like, DC. You I, can't breathe. You can't think. I mean, that but, reaction, though, right? That reaction oh, tells you it all. Yeah. There's turned no away. way Caitlin Chukagian wants to do that in the octagon. That's a nauseating feeling, and then Andras goes flying in. <laughs> Double knee, but then as you were saying, DC, oh, another one. Punted the body. Up. Another short right hook to the body, dropped her against the fence. A good stoppage from the referee. It was here in the O2 that McCann made history. Oh. The first English woman to get a win in the octagon, the first Brits, obviously being Joanne Calderwood, who I thought oh, here, actually. This is where Molly needs to be careful. Last time out, Anna Golden got a victory over Emma Whitmire in a similar kind of fashion. Oh, that's a big right hand from Molly. Oh, oh, that's that's the the She's hurt again. That's it. Oh, she's it's good. good. It's good. She does. Anna Goldie to the camera. Gets another one in London. Get ready for the celebration. It's only just begun. Oh. <laughs> Amazing.
in. That doesn't mean you're necessarily going to win, but she's definitely fresher. And Mark Henry, the corner of Sajara Eubanks, asking her to let her hands go and use her boxing. Oh, oh that was a body that's shot. I believe it was legal. Gato is going to end it like that. Let's take let another look. Oh, no, man. Front yeah, kick. you're right, Michael. Front kick right to the midsection, totally legal. Just slightly off from the solar plexus, more to the side of the liver. Ooh. Beautiful kick, nicely executed, and a job well done. Yeah, oh my goodness, you're right, Michael. I think that is, it was either the solar plexus or the liver, but it does seem to be slightly off to the right. Beautiful kick from Melissa Gatto. We talk about her jujitsu ju skills, her submission skills, and she ends it with that front kick to the body. I mean, exactly what you would expect. Anybody that's done any research on Cachoeira, this is how she fights. She's a front foot fighter. She puts pressure on immediately. And it's a big looping right hand over the top. Oh, massive oh, uppercut. That is it. Wow. It is done. Cachoeira gets this started early. What a knockout. There's the uppercut. Beautiful timing on that. Shayna Dobson just lowering her level, expecting that overhand right to come. Really, really nice timing on that. Beautiful. Throwing with intention. You know, like you talked about, Michael, th there's, you lose something there. That energy is energy that you didn't use for the fight. You, you used it on the walkout, which is fun, but you got to be ready for that. But it's not just... I mean, that was just absolutely incredible. All right, let's take a look at how this went down here. Oh, it's spinning elbow KO for Meatball Molly. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. She's setting it up for a couple seconds as Carolina is coming forward. She senses that weight moving forward. She spins in it. That's how you get a knockout. Clearly, I in outstanding shape, barely breathing heavy after round one. Oh, oh she ain't that one hard. I mean, that sounds like someone is slapping the bag with a baseball bat. Yeah, it's bad. Oh, oh head kick. Oh, my God. was the body kicks, man. Yep. She had taken those body kicks, so watch her hands. When she loaded up, she's thinking body, and shin, to, shin the to the dome, and can't take shin to the dome, man. And that was a bad one. As you see her legs, her legs twitch, and she's still unconscious. Let's take a listen to it. 